I've always wanted to be a chef because I always used to watch my mother cook when I was really young from about the age of five. He's a very positive person with a real desire to succeed and do well. <laughs> a bit late in the kitchen sometimes, calling it sick and all of that. He has the biggest personality, the funkiest reggae grooves I've ever seen. It makes me want to say words like Zim Zimmer. <laughs> always has a smile on his face, always. And really helps to work with Fabian because he's always smiling. Adam Arusi. I like pastry because you can be so artistic with it at the same time as making such a beautiful dessert for some people to make them smile. What a boy. He's probably had the toughest year of any apprentice has ever been on this course. It's inspired me to become a better person and to become something greater in my life. And I really want to do it for my brother as well. So. That's it, really. I just wish him all the best and he can always come back and talk to anybody at 15 when he needs to. A big special thank you to Tromi, Nikki and Lucian. I'm going to miss all of you guys and I promise that I will definitely visit. <laughs> Take care. Like, how can you not cook? Isn't it? Like, come on. So you survive. Sean Snell's um, likes to hit me about and rough me about. I get in trouble, like, because I'm quite cheeky. Cheeky little one. Cheeky chappy. Cheeky little monkey. Cheeky little Essex boy. Even before 15, I was always out, like, trying new things in cooking. I used to do hunting, like, always been outdoors with my mates camping and that. Absolute natural chef. Um, really wicked sense of humour, tries really, really hard and done, has, has done amazingly well this year. He's always there, always ready to work, very enthusiastic. He's got a good sense of humour and is often the joker in the pack. I'll be remembered for getting blamed for everything and being the cocky one. And the hardest worker, obviously. Just come back and see me when you want another omelette challenge. Didn't I beat you? I, wanna, I would thank everyone around the corner in the foundation, Basically, everyone, and especially Cosmos. <laughs> he can do a great job. He'll be a great chef. He's got the ability. He cares. He's passionate. Fat duck, onwards and upwards. Thanks, everyone. See you at the graduation and uh, see you at the top, innit? If you can catch up. They call me shoulders. <laughs> uh, Stephen, very hard-working guy, makes me laugh. Big character, um, but very softly spoken and actually really, really reflective, not only in the mirror when he's looking at himself, but actually internally as well a wee bit. I'm going to make sure I'm looking good here for you, Stephen, because isn't this what you do in the middle of service all the time? He's a lovely guy. He's, I think he's grown up a lot in the kitchen. He's becoming a lot more serious and... He, you can see him focusing a lot more. As many apprentices will say, not much people get to do what we get to do, so um, definitely it's, it's a life-changing experience. I think his attendance for the year is 97%. It makes me feel happy, it makes me feel proud, it makes me feel so many things. He's been at the top of the scoreboard as well for Apprentice of the Month. This is just the start of my life now, thanks to 15. You're a good lad, you've done really well, Coming into work on your days off in Chef's Week, 10 out of 10, well done. He is really coming into the fore as we come to the end of the programme and will graduate and be a great chef in the future. I hope to stay in contact with a few people and just, yeah, thanks for having me. See you later. do nothing else but get up and cook. She's such a fiery little creature. She's just so strong. Nothing but great feedback for the, um, for the whole of the course. Didn't even know she was on the course for the first six months because she never really spoke. She just got in there as if she'd been a chef for years and years and years. Had loads of stuff going on outside um, but kept focused um, and done everything that she needed to in the kitchen. I didn't know what a broom was, was this time last year. I didn't know what a mirror pile was. I didn't know any, any of those basic things and now I know all that just because a few people have taken their time out and put time in with us. She came in sort of small, petite, our youngest 
apprentice and said to me, oh, will I, when, I, when I become a chef, will I get burn, will I burn my arms? And I remember thinking at that point, she's not going to make it beyond a week and I can happily eat my words now. So well done, Sarah, she proved me totally wrong. It has changed my life and it is going to carry on changing my life even though I've left and even though I'm gone because I wouldn't be going anywhere if it wasn't for here. So it's put me on the right stepping stone, it's put me on the right path. Sarah actually helped me out a lot um, the first, for the first couple of months in the kitchen. So I want to thank her for that and I wish her well in the future and go on to like, be like me, like the G in the kitchen now. Enjoy your night, thank you and goodbye.